How y'all doing? I'm Justin Waddle. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Uh, today we're going to go over a topic in Job. It is to show you how to beat your fleshly desires, uh, how to sacrifice your fleshly desires and uh, move on to the next fleshly desire until you get the true powers of the Holy Spirit, okay? Now, uh, today it's in Job 5, chapter 5, verse 17 is where we're going to start because that's where we're going to start to show you how to beat your flesh okay so first you need to see is page 777 for completion 5 means grace 17 means victory okay so listen to what it says for a victory scripture behold happy is the man whom God correcteth Therefore despise not the chastising of the Almighty. So therefore, if you just stay happy, right? Be happy. Praise you, Father, for your, my trials and tribulations, right? That the powers of Christ may rest upon me, is what Paul said when three thorns hit him, right? That's what it's talking about here. Be happy is the man whom God correcteth. If you're highly anointed and you don't know you're highly anointed, okay, the more problems you have, the more actuality, the more highly anointed you really are because you don't know it and you're not following God's will just like Jonah, okay, who got thrown in the well, right? It's the same, it's the same concept. If you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations in your life and your life sucks, it's probably because you're not doing the will of the Lord, okay? And you're not leading down the path of righteousness that He's laid out for you. And He's trying to veer you off the path that you're going down to push you towards the path that He wants you to be on. That is exactly what He's trying to do, okay? So, so when a chastisement comes, a problem, if you will, or problems come in three, right? When that comes to you, if you <laughs> praise you, Father, for our trials and tribulations, I promise you, I've done it. He'll bring you victory. So, double for your trouble. Happy is the man whom God correcteth. D division. Man, God. Therefore despise. Double for your trouble. Thou chastising of the Almighty. Get it? Despise not. Double for your trouble. The chastising of the Almighty. Now watch this. Three means direction. So here on verse 18. 18 means prosperous. If it's positive. So for he maketh sore. And bindeth up. He woundeth. Three things. One, two, three. Direction. To break you down. And his hands make whole. Four options. So that's division, double for your trouble, direction, change. Four means change. His hands make whole. He's got to break you down. You understand the more trials and tribulations you go through is because he's trying to break you down. You understand? Okay, so let's go to uh, Proverbs 20 30. Proverbs 20 30. See how many flips this is. Okay. Here in the King James it says, The blueness of a wound cleanses away evil. So do stripes the innerward parts of the belly. Okay. So in the King in the New King James it says, uh, blows that hurt cleanse away evil, as does inner stripes, the inner depths of the heart. So that when you touch that stove, it's supposed to hurt you. So you don't go back to it. You get it? Okay. Blows that hurt, cleanse away evil. So when you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, but the Lord wants you to go down this path, He's going to blows that hurt, cleanse away evil. So you'll go down His path. You get it? Okay, let's turn back to Job. <laughs> we flip straight. <laughs> we flip straight to it. <laughs> Oh, calm down, Lord, Heavenly Father, calm me down in the name of Jesus. Alright. 
care how many flips that is, y'all. All right, so we're back here. So, his hands make whole. Four changes you. Five is grace. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. You hear that? So here's where it says, uh, in six troubles he'll deliver you. Okay, so here's what you do. We take fasting our flesh and put it to Moses and Jesus okay the two people only in the Bible to be recorded fasting 40 days and 40 year not 40 nights okay Moses the murderer he did it without food and water scripture says okay but Jesus the Messiah he did it it says he just hungered so that means he must have drank water okay so therefore that also proves uh, ye that is uh, uh, ye are greater than he. Okay? So in John, I believe it is, where it says, Ye are greater than he. Jesus was telling the disciples that y'all are going to be greater than me because I'm the Messiah. I'm expected to do this. But y'all are just normal men. So when y'all do miracles, it's going to be greater than my miracle. You see what I'm saying? So that's scripture proves that. Those two men, the murderer and the Messiah. Okay. Well, Moses fasted 40 days and 40 nights without food and water. And the Holy Spirit shone so bright out of his face, he had to put a veil over it. Okay? Okay, let's get off subject right here. We're getting back on subject. So here's what we got to do. You take one fleshly desire. Okay? One. Uh, do all things without mummering and disputing. Take that scripture. So go 40 days and 40 nights without complaining or questioning. Philippians 2.14. Do all things without mummering and disputing. Go 40 days and 40 nights without complaining or questioning. You're going to fall six times. It says he shall deliver thee in six troubles. See? Verse 19. Faith. you got to have faith. He's going to deliver you in six troubles. So you're going to fall six times in that 40 days and 40 nights. But if you do like Jonah did in, ver in chapter 2 verse 9. Or if you do like... Uh, Job did in chapter 1 verse 20 and 21 or if you if you do like uh, Paul did in 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 7 through 9 yeah 7 through 9 if you do like they did when you follow six times you won't have complaint no more you'll be praising for everything praising for your problems you see what I'm saying through the Holy Spirit that's telling you right now through me watch this and watch what happens. When you do that, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Watch this. Boom. Six is for the world. Watch what it says. Yay. In seven, there shall no evil touch thee. <laughs> Ain't that awesome? Watch. So watch this. Happy is the man whom God corrected. Division. Therefore despise not the chastising of the Almighty. Double for your trouble. For he make his sore. He bindeth up. He woundeth, direction, and his hands make whole, change. Watch this. Five, grace. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, grace. Six, the world. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Ain't that amazing how his words line up and his sentences and scripture line up to the numerical value of his beautiful numbers? Ain't that incredible? Watch this. Let's keep going. So, seven means uh, completion. There's six for the world. It's talking about evil. We're at completion. Verse 20. 20 means your old man is dead. We'll get to that in, uh, later on in the scripture. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. <laughs> so your old man is dead, okay? In famine, he shall redeem thee from death, right? That's completion. You're coming back from death. Watch this. Eight means rebirth. And war from the power of the sword. He's going to rebirth you from the power of the sword. Okay? Watch this. Spiritual completeness is next. But watch what 10 says. And that's how you know you got rebirthed. Okay? Thou shalt be hid from the scrounge of the tongue. Okay? 
So when you're in spiritual completeness, when you get the nine fruits of the Spirit and the nine gifts of the Spirit, nobody can come against you with their tongue, okay? Because you have authority over serpent and scorpion, and your movements are so swift and vast to the beautiful knowledge and wisdom of the Holy Spirit that not one person can come against you because you're not doing anything wrong. Do you understand what the Holy Spirit is trying to tell you there? So watch this. Nine, complete, spiritual completeness. Thou shalt be hid from the scrounge of the tongue. You can't touch me. Watch this. God gives you something. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. What's he give you there? God gives you strength there. He gives you strength to overcome being afraid of destruction when it cometh. Ain't God's beautiful numeric value beautiful i mean he calls them by name and when you see him by name <laughs> i promise you he reveals himself to you and, and it's your mind is blown ready let's just let's continue at destruction of famine thou shalt laugh new beginning that's number 11 new beginning neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth he, don't, he wants you to choose not to be afraid of the beast of the earth, okay? So let's go back over this. Happy is the man whom God corrected, the vision. Therefore despise not the chastising of the Almighty, double for your trouble. He maketh sore, he bindeth up, he woundeth, direction. And his hands make whole, change. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, grace. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee six for the world in famine he shall redeem thee from death seven completion he'll redeem you from death you'll be completed and in war from the power of the sword okay so that's three options but it's also rebirth so that's the holy spirit speaking war from the power of the sword that's why i did it in yellow because the holy spirit is the light so, war in the power of the sword, and it's rebirth, okay? Now, I mean spiritual completeness. You can't touch me. Thou shalt be hid from the scrounge of the tongue. God gives you strength. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. 10, 11. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. That is a new beginning because you got strength and you ain't afraid of nothing no more. So now you got new beginning. God wants you to choose. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Boom. All right, y'all ready for this? This is so beautiful. 13 means authority, and Jesus is the cornerstone. And watch what it says for authority. For thou shalt be in the league with the stones of the field. Ain't that beautiful? God is beautiful. Jesus is the cornerstone. He is our solid foundation. And it's talking about, For thou shalt be in the league with the stones of the field. Now watch what 14 means for salvation. Watch what it says for 14 for salvation. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. <coughs> Excuse me. Ain't that a miracle? That is so beautiful. Watch this. So he, he wants you to choose not to, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast. 12, 13 means authority, for thou shalt be in the league with the stones of the field. Jesus was the authority figure. He's the cornerstone. And also, he's our solid foundation. So that's what it's talking about. Jesus right there. And the beast of the field, the enemy, shall be at peace with thee. 14 means salvation. So that is the 14th option. Get it? And we're at 14 minutes right now when it said that. <laughs> Ain't he a miracle? Y'all watch, watch the time when it's uh, talking about number 14 here. Now watch what 15 says. 15 means rest. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. Remember yesterday's video where we talked about uh, 5 being grace and 10 at my job uh, being grace. But... But then I got five kids, and, and when, because I have all 15, you know, 15 situations like that, uh, I got, I'm got i at perfect peace, okay? Well, this is what it's talking about right here. See? 
that's a restful scripture. Tabernacle is your tent. You're the tent, okay? You're the tent of the holy vessel, the vessel of honor, if you will. Uh, you're the tent of, of the Holy Spirit, okay? This is a tabernacle shall be in peace. Watch what this says. And thou shalt visit thy habitation. 16 means love. And shalt not sin. Victory. So not only does this teach you how to beat your flesh. And starts off at verse 17. But it ends with 17 options through this whole paragraph right here. You understand? Now, watch how 18 means prosperous. Okay? Flip the page. 18 positive situations so prosper thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great prosper Isn't that beautiful yesterday we showed you a negative 18 option and it meant change this is beautiful because it's showing you the 18th option and it's prospering <laughs> right ain't that gorgeous what's this thou shalt Know also that thy seed shall be great. Now, 19 means faith. And thy offspring as the grass of the earth. Okay, so he has to have faith that God's going to make his offspring grow like the grass of the earth. Now watch this. 20 means your old man is dead, right? We said that earlier. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age. Okay. So that means your old man is dead. Uh, if you go to Proverbs 10.27, which is right here. Proverbs 10.27. Proverbs 10.27. Count the flips. Alright, 10.27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Go back to Job. <laughs> I'm just flipping. I'm just flipping here. Boom, right back there to it. I'm going to count how many flips that is. Okay. <clears throat> so, 20, your old man is dead. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age. So for the fear of the Lord prolongeth life. So your old man is dead because you fear the Lord. You prolong life. You understand that? Now 21 means rebel against sin. Like a shock of corn cometh in the, his season. Okay? You will rebel against sin because you will be at full age in your season. Get it? Watch out. Uh, 21, uh, 22 means new journey. Lo, this we have searched it. Get it? 22, new journey, because he searched it. Lo, this, we have searched it. Now watch this. 23 means new man alive. Also, when you break all your fleshly desires, that's how you your old man is dead. Okay? And uh, this ends in 23 options, because 23 means your new man is alive once you get this fulfilled, okay? Once you start breaking down your flesh desires constantly until you have the true powers of the Holy Spirit. In Matthew 5, 8, Bless is the man pure in heart, for they shall see God. Not only will you see the true powers of the Holy Spirit because you purified your heart, but, but other people see godly actions in you, okay? And you do that by First Peter 4, uh, 8. Um, it talks about reverent love covers a multitude of sins, so the more you show multitude of sins, the uh, more you show reverent love, you cover those multitude of sins, okay? And you purify your heart so you see God and other people see godly actions in you. And so the Holy Spirit purifies your, your thoughts and your mind through Romans 9.1 in Christ Jesus. I lie not my conscience also bear me witness to the Holy Ghost. And, and then 1 Timothy uh, 3.9, holding the mystery of faith with a pure conscience. And that's how all this comes out of me, Okay? Because he does it for me. And he showed me that scripture. Job 5.17. And I ran with it because the Holy Spirit showed me how to run with it. And I'm in that beautiful race. But I'm not seeking a prize that's, that's external. I'm, I'm seeking for the prize that's internal. You understand? And he's beautiful. Guys.
Uh, Y'all please subscribe at the bottom. Y'all are not following me. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that just broke all that numerology down to you. Uh, we're going to go over it one more time before we enter out of this. Uh, so that way you can see it uh, without any kind of distractions, okay? Ready? So, behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise the chast despise not that the chastising of the Almighty. Division, double for your trouble. For he maketh sore, and he bindeth up, he woundeth, okay? Direction. To break you down. But when he does, he makes you whole, he changes you. His hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Grace. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee, the world. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, completion. In war from the power of the sword, rebirth. Thou shalt be hid from the scrounge of the tongue, spiritual completeness. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. God gives you strength, ten. He gives you something, ten. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, new beginning. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Choose to do that. For thou shalt be in the league with the stones of the field. Take authority. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. That's where you receive that salvation. And when you receive salvation, you always get rest behind it. Division, double for your trouble. That's why I put that in there like that. And thou shalt know that the tabernacle shall be in peace. Rest. Love is 16. And thou shalt visit thy habitations. Okay. And watch this. And shall not sin. 17 means victory. Turn to 18. Oh. The other page was 777. This is 778. Rebirth. <laughs> thou shalt know also that thou shalt see that thy seed shall be great. 18 positive. Prosper. 19 faith. And thy offspring as the grass of the earth. 20 is your old man is dead. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age. Right? Proverbs 10, 27. For the fear of the Lord prolonged life. 21. You rebel against sin because you're at full age. Like a shock of corn cometh in the, his season. 22 means take a new journey. Lo, this we have searched it. Right? Now, when your old man is dead and you add the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost 3 to it, you get 23. So you got three options. So it is, hear it, and know. So so it so it is one, hear it two, and know three. Thou it for thy good. So you take your old man is dead. You have the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Three options. Makes it 23 with your new man alive. And that's how you get to 24 to be a priesthood, okay? So y'all guys, please just please subscribe at the bottom. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that just went over that numerical value and put it to Scripture and how He puts it up to all the things of the earth. I promise y'all it's not me. Y'all have a blessed day and God bless you. Have a good night.